they used to call Port Lawrence Little Little Pittsburgh. So it was just an industrial area that you know, people, I guess, can I say this? They shit it on. <laughs> when, a quarter of the kids in this neighborhood suffer from asthma in some form or another. It's all this pollution is affecting kids. ¿Tú tienes hijos? ¿Estás preocupada por la salud de tus hijos? What I said is that we're not going to tolerate. Okay, we're not going to tolerate no more. We gotta save our own lives. It's really environmental racism. An alley between the South Bronx and Bot Hill. It's really environmental racism. Polluting things are in community of color and poor, uneducated communities. And they put it there because they figure there's, these people are just a bunch of niggas and spicks, and they won't fight back, and they do fight. My name is Luz Maria Madrigal, and I'm working in San Jerome's community. I am the assistant director of Freedom Community Center in the Bronx. I'm also the chairman of the, uh, the Environmental Committee of Community Board Number 1 in the Bronx. So my name is Jaime Rivera. I'm the director of the South Bronx Clean Air Coalition. Well, I, I live for, I've been living over here in this community for 40 years. And I've been active uh, organizing for 29 years. Under the struggle of the four power plants has been since its proposal to be built. Well, I'm Carol Zakluk, and I'm part of a group called Downtown Bronx Eco Development Corporation. I'm a long-term member of uh, BEAC, Bronx Environmental Action Coalition. We have to tell you a little story about where we come from. This shit was mathematics. Check it out. This community is the poorest congressional district in the country. I would say 75% of, of the population is unemployed and or on some form of government assistance, welfare. They're struggling. They have an epidemic of AIDS, an epidemic of uh, drugs here. It's a diverse community, very diverse. Uh, we have. Mexican, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Afro-American, so it's a mix. The Bronx is being looked at, in my opinion, as a dumping ground for most of the um, environmental concerns of the league, and sometimes the state. So that happens in so many ways, literally speaking. This is an area where you've got waste transfer stations. I mean, right now they're proposing to expand one facility, the uh, uh, New York Organic Fertilizer Company uh, is planning to expand from 3,000 tons to 4,000 tons of garbage that they're going to uh, uh, they're going to process in the area. The governor uh, was looking for a place to put these 10 GE power plants, and he put four of them in one neighborhood, uh, just the blocks apart, in you know, the South Bronx. When I see it, I believe it. We'd like to get a tour uh, of the facilities. Theoretically, these are state-of-the-art, clean, efficient, uh, energy efficient, um, and uh, so we just want to see what it looks like. We we're thinking, well, maybe we could find something inside that we could use against them. We'd say, well, call that safe or something like that. But they wouldn't even let us in. They say they have state-of-the-art plans. You know, that does not mean anything that because you have a state-of-the-art does not mean that it will not hurt your community. All it means is that the latest equipment and as far as we know, they could be running a power plant with scotch tape and telling us it's the state of an art plan. You know, we don't have any reports about emissions uh, from the plant. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, they've got something to hide. They said they're so clean. Why we're not allowed to go in there in a tour? We're not terrorists. We're community people. And the government agencies do is they allow them to do their own little study. And so what they do is they'll test out for chemicals that they know there's very little of or there's none of. And then they'll come out and say, well, see, they did a study 
Um, we did a study on our own, by, by the way. And we found out that this chemical is not even here. So even though we know this chemical causes cancer, we know it's not here, so it's not going to cause cancer. But they, they don't tell you it's the other 99 chemicals that are there that are going to cause you cancer, that are going to uh, make the asthma rate worse. They're going to make our kids have learning disabilities. They don't tell you that. Thinking the same thing myself, smog in the city ain't no good for your health. Do you know anybody who's been personally affected by the pollution in this area? Yes, I have my whole entire family. My sister, for example, who was affected, has asthma, and had asthma ever since she was born. We just want to talk about how um, all the people we know who have asthma, because there's a lot. Mi hijo lo tiene. Entonces, esa es la preocupación. Tengo que correr a la de emergencia cuando él tiene un ataque de asma y especialmente es cuando viene de la escuela. A lot of people in our school have asthma. And one girl, her name is Paola. She, um, I believe it was this year she had an asthma attack. And um, it was real serious. They called the ambulance. My name is Denise. Uh, I am a chronic asthmatic. Her neighbor, um, Annie, she has asthma. She's 10. Her little <laughs> sister is 7. And she has asthma too. I remember one day actually seeing about three different people who, walk around, who walked around with uh, uh, oxygen tanks. Uh, they suffer from asthma very badly. And I knew that I didn't need to convince these people that these power plants do not need to be in this area. Because I see people walking around with their punks and their pockets. Jamila, oh, and my friend's younger sister, she's four or five. She has asthma too. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of my nephews and nieces. They were born in this community. Three months after or six months after they were born, they, they already replaced the with asthma. The seniors, we, I know people already. They had died or asthma attack. So you're saying, Better to, to have more electricity. It's all right to have more electricity. And the same time, people are dying. It's all this pollution is affecting kids. They have lead into the air. They drop things into the water. They don't bother to tell people, you know, you're drinking the water.